In exercise number 9, you will learn that with iMachining 3D, you can automatically perform the roughing and rest roughing of prismatic parts, which include multiple pockets and islands, in a single operation. In addition to using iMachining 3D, this exercise also demonstrates how you can dramatically reduce your programming times even further by using the 2.5D milling and feature recognition modules for finishing. Perform step 1 by loading the solid cam part used in this exercise. Simply click on the file name exercise9.prz. If SolidWorks is not already opened, SolidWorks, Solid Cam, and the cam part will launch automatically. Note that a milling cam part has already been created for this exercise. The CNC machine controller, coordinate system, stock model, and target model are defined. In both the stock and target model definitions, the facet tolerance parameter is set to 0.01 millimeters, which is the recommended value. You can check for the correct value by double clicking the stock and target subheaders. Or by double clicking the Campart header to open the Campart definition, from which you can also access the stock and target model definitions. In the settings, you'll see that the tool facet tolerance is also set to the recommended value of 0.01 mm for the rest material calculation. To exit the Part Settings dialog box, click the Cancel button. Finally, in the iMachining data area, the machine and work material definitions have also been selected during the Campart definition process. Haas SS New is selected from the machine database and has a machine default level of 6. Aluminum, with a 100 Brunel hardness number and a hardness Rockwell of 60 on the B scale, is selected from the material database. To exit the Milling Part Data dialog box, and keep the existing Campart definitions, click Cancel. If you double-click the tool header to display the Part Tool Table dialog box, you will also see that several tools are defined for the CAM project. For the purpose of this exercise, the first tool appearing in the list is a 12.5 mm drill, which is defined to perform the pre-drilling of the through hole. You'll see that the resulting machined hole is then automatically used for safe tool entry by iMachining 3D. The roughing and rest roughing is performed with tool number 2, an end mill of 9.5mm that has a 24mm cutting length and 4 flutes. Tool number 3 is defined as a 6mm end mill to perform the rest and finish machining. The remaining two tools, which consist of a spot drill and drill, are defined to perform machining of the countersinks and holes. Click OK to close the Part Tool Table dialog box. At this stage, Step 1 is complete. The cam part is loaded, with the cam part and tools already defined. 